It's 18.01, which is 6 p.m. and one minute after, 16, or uh, 6, 601 p.m. on the 8th of June, 2022, Wednesday. This is my Veris Edge scanner. It's state of the art. And uh, if you want to, right now I'm observing my engine fuel system. And the engine RPM is 680. It's bouncing around a little bit, 680, 678, 682. But uh, what you, if you want to know if your fuel rail pressure regulator might be having a problem, one thing which indicates that is the case, your desired FRP PSI might be, say, for instance, 5,800. And mine right now is 4,351. And right there, it's 4,322. 40, 40, it's like it's bouncing around a little bit, but it's right in there, 43, 40, 42, 43 at the max, 43, whatever it is, 60 or whatever and then it bounces down around 42, 90 or whatever, that is very, is very acceptable. For desired fuel rail pressure PS in PSI, 4351. At an idle, it's holding very steady too. 4,351 pounds per square inch on the common rail fuel rail pressure. And uh, so the actual FRP is, is very close. It, yes, it is bouncing around 43, It's very hard to capture that even with your eye. It keeps changing 4307 into 42. Uh, 4320. It just bounces around quite a bit and stuff, but it's very close, like 50 above or below of what the desired FRP is. But not only that, when you look at your FRP regulator command, you notice your fuel rail pressure regulator command in the percentage right there on the right, in the, in the center, is 35, 36, 30, 36, 35. Now, if that is showing 80 something, you want it to be about 20%. But at an idle, if that's doing showing 80, you probably have a bad fuel rail pressure regulator. And they're, they're usually only good for like 150,000 miles on a Duramax. So, uh, your, your economy and power will start uh, not being as good if you reach 150,000 miles on your Duramax and you've not renewed your fuel rail pressure regulator yet. It's a good idea to do it instead of driving like three or five years and 100,000 miles where it's running crappily with less power and it eventually gets to the point what's going to happen, it'll be showing the actual FRP PSI will be like 9,000 or something even though the desired FRP is 5,800. So that, that tells you that you got a uh, bad fuel rail pressure regulator. If it's way up there, around 9,000, and your desired FRP is 5,800, right, right, right now mine, when it's, when it's running good, it's 43.51, my desired FRP PSI. And uh, this engine oil pressure sensor is way off. 21.4. It's way above 21.4. It's like 50. I might need to get a new. I don't know why it's showing different on my scanner than it is on the gauges. I think I need, need a new uh, cluster, instrument cluster, driver's information center. Yeah, once you change your a worn out FRP regulator, fuel rail pressure regulator, your exhaust will smell better. If you take care of your vehicle, you can hear your turbocharger at the exhaust pipe too.